closer to your voice for this day. I think I'm on the city of London. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not London wise. Has anyone hit the button? It's easy, I'll have you know, to commit suicide here. Oh, that's fucking Paris. Yeah. I didn't even realise. Fuck, man. Is this the real one? No. It's easy to commit suicide everywhere. Yeah, it's easier here. Right, the middle of the field. Yeah. How do you commit suicide in the middle of the field? With no tools on you. Yeah. Eat grass. Keep eating it. Keep eating it. Keep eating it. Rather than not eating it would do better because you'd starve to death. No, keep yeah. eating the grass. And then I, you, I agree with yourself. Keep it's eating right. the grass. You get dysentery, and then you'll then you'll eat. So I get dysentery. It is. Oh, okay. so, <laughs> this is dysentery. What's a rebuttal? I'm really not looking forward to the war with Russia. I just... No, I get your map out. As soon as you go... Oh. <laughs> yep, that's a number plate. <laughs> I wonder who has A1. Yeah. You think it'd be like the Queen or something. You think she has Liz 1? <laughs> oh no, it'd be Liz 2. <laughs> yeah, Liz 2. <laughs> yeah. Mike's got his boots on he still steps over a it's tiny not, puddle. Not 13 pounds. They're the best boots I've ever bought. I've never had to break them in. Ever. At all. But well, you've broken them. If I was a policeman I'd want to be mounted police. I don't want to be one with a gun. But that's just me. Oh. Yeah I'm willing to get a taxi back Josh if you pay for it all. <laughs> Wow. That's literally probably a place you can buy private jets. I didn't believe them until I saw this one. Actually. Well, one jet, please. <laughs> <laughs> what <kind of> <laughs> one with engines. Good. That'll be four pounds. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius and they're sceptical. <laughs> so we just, should we just go to Buckingham Palace and just... <laughs> go, just... Oh, that's Buckingham Palace. Yeah. I didn't even realise. I thought it was some big building. <laughs> Let's be tourists. Yeah. What's going on? I have no idea. You know what's going on? I have no idea. Oh, changing the guard. Is that it? Yeah. I haven't seen it. No. No, really? No. Really? I've never been here before. You've never been here before. I've never been here before. It's just a major. Okay. Who's that? It doesn't even need Winston, it just says Churchill on it. Everyone else is David Lloyd George, this, like this, that. Just Churchill. That in like caps, in block caps. They probably didn't even need the name. No, no, they don't. Oh, on your six, on your six, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Pizzy cat, pizzy cat, pizzy cat. I'm following, follow it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> you, broke, you broke it, Mike, you ruined it. I did, I did. I'm sorry, I'll do this one. You can pay for a private pod. Security. It's been worse. Oh, there it is. Okay, cheers, Mike. Go, go. You can go in that way, Mike, it's fine. Yeah, no. You can find your own route. Sorry, I'm excited, guys. <laughs> uh, well, we got to see the other side of London. Yeah. Uh, Let's London. go to those benches. They're not square. Can you see that? They're not square with putting down this path. Oh, that's, that's annoying. That's upsetting. Ah. See, okay, I, 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 I'm already liking this. <laughs> It's got modernish stuff rather than just old yeah. stuff. A V1, Spitfire, V2, Harrier. Oh, wait, there's a V2. <laughs> 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 I didn't even notice. What Spitfire is it, Josh? Mark Nine. 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 Yeah. Mark no, Mark Nine, definitely, hundred percent, guaranteed, confirmed. 
Oh yeah, the, rus the rusky section. Rusky, 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 rusky section. One month later, Austria Hungary, with German encouragement, declares war on Serbia. Russia decides to stand up for the Serbs. Germany backs its only reliable ally, Austria Hungary. These powers are willing to risk war to defend or extend their own national interests. Germany strikes first, declaring war on Russia in the east and then on Russia's ally in the west, France. War is edging closer to Britain. Britain has no obligation to fight. Its leaders agonize whether to join in. They fear a victorious and hostile Germany would dominate Europe, threatening Britain's national security and vital trade. The world's balance of power is at stake. When Germany invades neutral Belgium to get to France, the argument for Britain joining the war becomes stronger. Britain has long promised to protect Belgium's neutrality. Prime Minister Herbert Asquith's government issues an ultimatum to Germany. Withdraw your troops from Belgium. There is no reply. At 11 p.m. on the 4th of August, 1914, Britain, with its vast global empire, declares war on Germany. Armies across continental Europe have already marched off to war. I'd rather look at these and things, just these images. In fact, imagine like going, having to go at someone with one of those. So you've got no other choice, you've just got to charge someone and beat them to death with a club. It's just, it's just mad. But just, but just our one. Pretty much all of them. It's just an evolution. Oh, right. I like World War One. It's, it's, it's a. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a it's an interesting. It's, it's an interesting one. It's the donut flamen burst. It burst many flamens. On the 8th of August, armed forces, speared by the Australian troops, smashed through the German lines on Western Bank. For the first time in the war, large numbers of German soldiers began to surrender. Under the direction of Marshal Bosch, the Allied armies now made a series of attacks up and down the front. The American army began to fight as an independent force for the first time. Quite the museum. Spitfire! <laughs> No, no, but then we wouldn't have been able to reinvade no, without it. Pink care band I somehow found in my back pocket. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no, that's yes, fast. San Demetrio. This is a Lancaster, yeah. Bigger than I thought. <laughs> that's, that's not a joke, I, I'm a, I didn't oh, think. They're, they're huge, they had to carry so many, many bombs. Well, well, did you know, probably already said it, the B-70 only got his name from some random reporter. So when they saw it on the on the airfield, they said, wow, that thing's a flying fortress. And they went, oh, propaganda, propaganda. Yeah. When, when the Matildas first came out, before they had tigers or anything, it's, the only way to take out a Matilda was to point this at them. It was the same flag that surrender of Japanese forces in Southeast Asia, but it was also the flag that we used to defend to the, to the Japanese in Singapore. <laughs> so it's the same one. I also remember these are small points uh, when we were sort of behind uh, the wire. I was looking down and I saw a procession of ants in the sand, and, and I thought, well, "Goodness me, well, they're not affected by the war." These silly thoughts you get watching these ants scurry about. Is it the real one? This boy is fat. Fat man. Fat man. Is this the real one? No. <laughs> I thought you meant like, is it going to be one of the same type? It's devastating. They're not going to be that devastating. Is that the one that Hiltz was riding? <laughs> Are you talking? Oh, oh. Is it? Oh, I, don't, well, I, no think it I think it went to the regiment rather than just the army. Mm -hmm. The Imperial War. Hmm? Is it the one that's it's, a, it's, a, it's an actual dicker's bike. Yeah, but they, I mean, they, they first battalion the rifles, surrounded. Two Taliban. Right, two Taliban scouts who panicked, leapt off, and ran from the it, it is. It is. That's it's, the bike. It's the bike. 
That's the bike. What do you mean the bike? As in First Rifles, they obviously brought their spike back. Yeah. Their, the story was um, they saw two Taliban riding in the bike. They obviously <coughs> made themselves visible. You know, they tr they stopped basically, fell off. It was in. And uh, they got up. They saw the, basically saw it on the horizon. So the two on the bike go, uh, get up. Run. It was, <laughs> Rather it was, than it was get in, back on the bike. They was, ran off. was it not in the doc BBC documentary, documentary Hour? Or? Yeah. That's the bike. Wait, was this a, is this a new vehicle? Not new. Then why are we using... Wait, so this isn't new and this is blast proof. Why do we then go down to Land Rovers in the time of bombs? <laughs> oh, it's the IRA. Everybody loves the IRA. It's just, it's just lovely people. Oh, that's the extra set. That's the exit. Yeah, I didn't realise it was there. I saw it on the thing and I was looking around for it. That's really cool. It's not as big as I thought it would be. Then I suppose it's a missile, so it's... Yeah. It's only got a one-ton warhead, apparently. It seems quite large for something... Sweetest girl I know